MOQ is a problem for startups and the e-commerce companies. Usually, suppliers set a MOQ for each product, especially on wholesale websites such as Alibaba Global Sources and Made in China. These platforms are B2B models, so the MOQ is usually high. This means you have to buy a lot of same product at once. But don't worry too much. You can use some tricks to know where the MOQ for each product. Welcome to watching the Sourcing from China Get video series. I'm Chloe, one of the founder of Sourcing Arts, the leading sourcing company that combines practical sourcing experience and data analysis. I will share you with the most practical tips to import quality goods from China. Make sure you go subscribed. Today's topic is how to get low MQ on Alibaba and other B2B platforms. What's the MQ? Minimal order quality. The MQ is the minimal number of units that a wholesale supplier allows a buyer to purchase at a time. MQ unit involves the custom made goods or goods that are not in stock. What's that a MQ? Negotiation is the exchange of interest, mutual compromise to achieve cooperation. So, when you want the supplier to know your the MOQ, you must understand why they do this and what they want. Most of foreign buyers think that the reason why the supplier set a MOQ is because they want me to buy more so they can earn more money. But in fact, only a few local suppliers deliberately set a high MQ in order to earn money. Most of the suppliers get a minimal order quantity of the product after a series of cost calculation. Objective reasons. There are three objective factors that affect the MQ of most products: raw materials, labor costs, and machine startup costs. Subjective factors. The subjective factors that affect the product's MQ is whether the supplier is eager to accept your order. For example, when your purchase intention is not strong, when the factory orders is exceeded the factory's production capacity, the supplier might not carry your order too much. How to know your the MQ? Know the root reason why you want a lower MQ. In addition to understanding why the supplier set up MQ, you should be clear about what you want and why do you want to lower the MQ. Everyone's fundamental reason for lower MQ may be different. For e-commerce sellers, when developing a new product, they aren't sure the product will sell well, so they are more willing to purchase a variety of products to test the product's feedback in the market. For retailers, the store sales cannot reach the MOQ of the product in a short time. For large companies, the buyer can't decide the order quantity without authorization. The purchase quantity is decided by month departments according to company's strategy and sales situation, and the product quantity can't excite its Safety stock, too much inventory will not only bring some potential risks, but also increase the company's inventory costs. In short, no matter for what kind of seller, a high MQ means high risk. If the product sells a lot good, all costs will be lost. After you figure out your needs and the needs of your supplier, it will be easier to reach agreement with the supplier. Manufacturers usually have more than one MOQ requirement. There are many ways to teach you how to know your MOQ on the internet, but it's not effective for every buyer. So more importantly, you should know the logic to lower the MOQ. First, you must figure out why your supplier sets this MOQ. As we mentioned above, the factors that affect the supplier's MOQ. Are divided into subjective factors and objective factors. The factors that affect the supply of each supplier and the product are different. 
The following factors may be in fact the your supplier's MOQ. Material, number of colors, number of other variants, such as size, packaging, custom logo, total order quantity, profit margin. In other words, you should try to get the source of the MOQ numbers. This is something most suppliers will ignore. When the buyer asks the supplier what's your MOQ, most suppliers will directly tell you a number, 500 units, 1000 units. Buyers will be scared off if they can't reach this amount. But in fact, this number is meaningless to buyers. This number can only allow you to make a decision but can help you solve the problem. So it's better to ask the supplier about the MOQ of product materials, packaging and processing. For example, the supplier's MOQ for the wireless computer mouse is 2000 units. But when you ask deeply, you may get the following results. MOQ for plastic shell 2000 units. MOQ for color box package 500 units. MOQ for each color 500 units. MOQ for custom logo 1000 units. Work with your supplier to reduce the MOQ. Then you can find a solution to the problem according to your needs. If you want to purchase different products in the earlier stage to test the product's feedback in the market, and the product quantity you expected are 500 units. One possible solution is that persuade the supplier to purchase the raw material for your order uh, along with the other orders from the factory to reach the MOQ of the raw material subcontractor. This is a session made by the supplier. Note, it's the factory's normal practice to purchase the raw materials together for different buyer's order. As for logo, you'd better make corresponding concession so that the supplier's psychology will be more balanced and they are more willing to make suggestions to you. For example, you can bear the cost of the additional 500 logo. The cost of one logo doesn't exceed 10 cents and the cost of 5,000 logo doesn't exceed 50 US dollars. This is a small expense compared to the cost of 500 products. This approach not only solves the flyer's problems and concerns, but also allows you to reduce the risk of large-scale purchases. Show suppliers your MOQ bid. If you are not familiar with the manufacturing process of the product and the operation of the factory, you can get a solution from the supplier. It's really more effectively to send your own MOQ bid to the supplier rather than trying to calculate the suppliers, the red cost MOQ. This way, you give suppliers the opportunity to consider your entire order value. After the supplier sees the list of potential buyers orders, it's common for the supplier to provide a significantly lower MOQ. Because after you inform them of your specific list, they subjectively want to cooperate with you. Taking into account all the factors when the supplier calculates the MOQ requirements, the MOQ decision may be highly theoretical. The above is a method and logic to solve the supplier's uh, objectively problems about MOQ. The following are some tips to influence the supplier subjectively. Impress the supplier subjectively. Don't negotiate the MOQ at the beginning. Instead, you should let the supplier know that you are serious about doing business with them. You can start by introducing yourself and ask common problems about prices, quantities, delivery time, payment and shipping options, etc. And when you start the negotiation, Show your confidence and strengthen. So don't say, I don't have a lot of money and I'm not sure if the products will be sold. Okay, these are my values and suggestions for reducing the MOQ on Alibaba and other online wholesale websites. I hope it's helpful to you.
And if you have any questions about today's topic, please leave me in the comments. And thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked this video, please give thumbs up and get subscribed. I will see you in the next video.